Yo, this is Impartial Theorists. Today, uh, we've actually got a live band on the air yeah. in WRT Studios here. So, <laughs> we've got a special guest on the studio today. Ace is here to tell us what oh. projects he's got going on. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Ace. Everybody knows me as Ace. My real name's Larry Williams. You can look me up on Facebook like that uh, because I'm, like, transparent. Uh, I'd rather people know who I exactly am so that I can move forward and hopefully help you move forward in life. But I've been here in Madison for about like uh, 15 years, 15 or 16 years, and uh, it's been really good to me. I've had my ups and my downs, but um, I'm still pushing through, and I'm apparently doing something right because we're here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're here, and yeah, I've been just pushing through, and I've met a lot of people along the way uh, that inspired me to be and encourage the character that I am today. Uh, a lot of you guys are still in my heart and in my soul, so, you know, we're just gonna keep moving, and I got a lot of new exciting stuff, so that's why I'm here at the show today with my friends, so yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, and you're originally from Chicago, right? Yes, I am originally from Chicago, uh, but unfortunately, I did see the, the like, the desolence inside of that place uh, growing up, so I just kind of escaped from that once graduating high school, and, uh, and just didn't ever went really back there to live, because, and, and as you can see, you see why I didn't. Like, I predicted that. And, like, yeah. once I saw, like, the first, like, abandoned house happen and the candy store closed down, you know, like, that you used to go to. And it's, like, once you see all that and, like, people not moving in, it's it's, it's going down there. It's going downhill from there. So I really couldn't be involved with that because, you know, I would I don't know where I would be now. <laughs> so I'm here in Madison. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, um, I mean, I've known Ace for a while, just kind of, like, I don't know, seeing you at shows, like, DJing, uh, one time I think I, like, brought, like, a mixer or something to a oh, show yes. here DJing, and, like... That was at the um, Loft. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just seeing you, like, performing and some shows you put together, uh, I know, it was, like, a year or two ago you put on a, uh, show at Peace Park, um... Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's, that's, that's with Black Salt, um... Uh, and that was Mike Diener, uh, Nate Diener, and Mikey Russell, Mike Russell, uh, which we uh, put together a company, Black Salt, and we just basically like broke out a lot of people who were here making music, you know, and doing their best to like shine, but didn't really have an outlet or a stage to do so, and we just came together, um, and they were working on their project to graduate from MMI, and we just collab with a uh, rock side of an album and a rap side so we mm -hmm. mikey took care of like uh you know doing all the rap editing and uh nate took care of all of the uh rock side and we put together a really good show and uh we made the paper and, and yeah people talk about it to the day and we we continued that a year later and created uh the it was called the bone chilling bash and we uh yeah, we did it another time. It was the second time around, but we did that over at uh, the Fountain on State Street, okay. and that turned out pretty well, also. But unfortunately, uh, Black Salt, you know, uh, had had its run, and not that us as characters, as the company owners and stuff like that, aren't going to be aren't friends and not going to like continue venturing out. But right now, we together. But right now, we are creating. You know, we're being our eagles. We're, we're, we're soaring, finding new destinations. Yeah. You know. So yeah, um, and uh, you were talking, you were talking earlier, you're saying uh, Black Salt. Yeah, you guys kind of split up, but so the projects you guys were doing, um, I know, yeah, involved like putting on shows, and then you were trying to do, uh, wasn't it like a live uh, video recording to on Blue yeah, Street sessions. The Blue that? Street sessions that that was that was mostly uh, Nate and Mikey's project, and a, cu a couple other people also, um, and. I really didn't have too much to do with that because I, I don't know too many rock bands them personally. Okay. So like that was really much all those guys, and and they're uh, hopefully they're still doing some things coming up in the future. Um, but as of now, you know they're just like taking time out to be with their families and chilling and stuff like that. So it's gonna be cool. Cool. So then you're kind of moving into a different direction, or I mean I guess doing not really a different direction, but I guess moving on in the same direction, but with uh, other. <coughs> Uh, collaborations and other groups you're working with um, so yeah Live Nation they've been a uh, show booker <laughs> for a while in Madison but they've recently gotten a little bit of criticism because they bought out uh, well, also a big 
booking agency in Madison, Frank Productions, like bought out oh. some local venues last year, and then yeah. Alive Nation bought like what was it, all the share, a bunch of shares, or like a oh, controlling yeah. amount of shares. So they're basically monopolizing Madison, and yeah, Madison music and <coughs> comedy, anything. Soon. Yeah, so that's that's it's kept been kind of in the news lately, and like people in Madison have been talking about it. But anyway, I guess let's hear what you've got going on with them. And oh well, I mean, I can't really because of legal reasons. I really can't speak too much about you know Live Nation, but I will say that that is my family. Um, I I love every last one of those guys, uh, all the way up to Eric, the vice president of Live Nation. I know like everybody. Like oh, yeah. I worked for them for two years. I was the liaison ambassador uh, and VIP coordinator. So I did a lot to help, you know, promote and do um, a, a lot for the community. I, 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 you know, me personally, I have connects with almost a lot, almost everybody and store owners. So I was able to like um, be able to like collaborate with those people and get some of that information out there to uh, with them. So it was just cross promoting B and B and um, Life Nation. Like I said, it's really good. Alexa, she's like the marketing manager. She's like really freaking awesome i love you alexa uh danielle you know, box office manager she's super awesome her right hand man dallas uh we had jim uh and we had so many people there but um moving forward from that like i say they had some legal things that they had to take care of and uh so now i'm moving forward uh and you know i i thank them for those opportunities and i have their connections so you know not like I'm not gonna be like hitting you up soon because I got a lot of stuff coming up. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, and I mean, just to, about that thing. Like, I mean, there's there's really no reason to believe that like there won't be like as because there's a lot of people saying like this could bring a lot more like diversity in shows and like bring a lot bigger acts here and yeah. like um, there's benefits to everything. Exactly, yeah. and then also other people have to realize what the people have to realize is that like. You know, um, Live Nation is doing something that we weren't able to do, you know, and that's hands down the the point. You know, like, we have to realize Madison is still, and we spoke about this earlier, like a country bumpkin type of place who is on the rise and is trying its best to monopolize on how bigger cities handle and take care of business. Now, on the same end of that, you can't just... Uh, think that a building, the look of a building is going to change the mindset of somebody who's been here for a very long time, who's humble and grassroots, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's totally different for, you know, a, a gym shoe wearing person versus uh, a concrete gym shoe wearing person versus a barefoot woodsman, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Those two people never collide, and that was a reason why it's a white collar and blue collar. Um, so, I don't know, like, they did something that... We couldn't do so. Be be grateful and appreciative and live your life. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then so I mean, uh, Live Nation is that so? What it, what exactly are you doing with them? Like with, with Live in Nation in Madison. In yeah. Madison, like I said, I, I I was just promoting with them. Uh, oh, you're not <clears> doing it anymore. Uh, though? Well, at this moment in time, like I say, legal reasons, I can't speak on anything oh, okay. because because oh, it's in transition. It's in transition, right so okay. I can't really speak on anything right now. But um, what I am doing at this moment in time is I took my resume and my credentials over to uh, one of our other leading venues here, uh, which is like Liquid? Liquid. Yeah, it's like basically the only nightclub here, um, like night kind of style, you know what I'm saying, nightclub. So, uh, and now I've taken those credentials, which was the liaison, VIP coordinator, and now um, team lead of the uh, uh, street teams of all the marketing and stuff. So... Um, with a few other people, so is Liquid independent though? Liquid, no. once again, I can't, <laughs> I can't speak about people's legal things, so I don't know anything. Oh, okay. I, I all I know is I I, I do me. <laughs> you yeah. know, I just I can't get into legal stuff. <clears throat> yeah, no, no problem. Um, well, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, you actually are work like you're hired now as yes. a person. So yeah, I guess you want to just talk about that and like what you're. Uh, right now, only thing I, I have done is I like <laughs> the funny thing is like they've it was already in plan, but like I put a little bit of emphasis on w like how it should be a little bit because like we had a lot of like red going on in the building, so we like kind of changed it up to make it a little bit more bright. So we also did that with the office. So the executive office, I like redid because I do I do uh, I rehab buildings and stuff. So um, yeah, like I'm in the process of just like fixing it up, putting new flooring in. 
uh, like painting all the rooms and stuff like that, and just bringing a new vibe to it. And then, then that's when I, you know, moving forward, we'll be able to like, I will be able to talk to you in depth about like what I'm actually doing with them. Okay. But at the, at the moment in time, like I say, only thing I can say is like we got a street team. We're out there giving the information, and further further from that, it's in the works. All right, cool, man. You're talking about new content and future plans, and uh, yeah, we were talking about it a little bit earlier. It's kind of a lot of stuff always in the works, so mm-hmm. um, yeah, I guess you want to just kind of t- <laughs> touch on some of those. Um, you mentioned, yeah, like having a recording studio set up. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, like uh, luckily during this Black Friday, you know what I'm saying, Thanksgiving time, I was able to um, work my ass off and uh, get enough, you know, money to purchase some of the things that I've been waiting for, like some of my mixers and other preamps and stuff like that, and things like that. So I was able to purchase those because of Black Friday, because some of the things I purchased were like fifteen hundred dollars and all this other type of shit, but they were taken down to like eight hundred dollars, and so I was able to. I was like, boom! It just felt good to be able to even purchase those things, let alone have them. Um, but so now that I have my studio set up, I'm in the process of making uh, some new music with brand new artists and some of my some of my continuous my continuing artists. Uh, uh, right now, I'm working with a new artist. His name is Ayende, and he's pretty cool. Got a lot of people follow him on Facebook. He got a lot of cool songs. Got a cool sound. Um, and I look forward to making new music with him. And just a little here, here's a BST behind the scenes for you. The songs that I have on my Facebook right now. Um, my mixer and everything, I haven't really set it up so that the mapping works right with the stuff. So mm-hmm. we wasn't able to record, but I was going through uh, this issue of mine um, emotionally um, through uh, e- relationship-wise um, and f- to a person I really care about. And um, I just, due, due to a situation that happened on my birthday, which is New Year's Eve, the yeah. same day that the planet is born, Damn. like some just like... <sighs> hate dust was sprinkled everywhere like i'm just gonna say hate dust was sprinkled everywhere at like 2 30 everything everybody was fighting like boom 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 every uh-huh. every bar outside the cops were like what's going on like like people were punching people in front of cops like, like it's a just, brawl yes it's just like just that the, time of the night when she gets <laughs> the drugs kick in the alcohol yeah. kick in like everything just went a went a went a, went a ray and it was just ridiculous and Unfortunately, I was involved in one of those, and for all of you who do know me, you know, you know I, I used to have dreads. So, like, I got into this altercation with these dudes who were trying to, like, you know, whatever. I'm not going to get into that specifically, but I got into this altercation, and, like, what ended up happening was these dudes, like, just basically pulling my hair and, like, punching me. It was, like, five people, like, and, like, uh, the, the incident lasted for, like, maybe, like, two, two and a half minutes until, like, the security guards came because, like I said... It was other fights happening in places, you know what I'm saying? So (laughs) it's like you couldn't do shit. So I'm over here boxing like five dudes, giving them the (laughs) go. You know what I'm saying? Like as you can see, my face ain't fucked. You know what I'm saying? But like if you ask them, they can't say the same. So I'm literally living that that joke where you be like, "Hey, you should see the other guy." Like literally, because only thing I did was lose my hair and you know, and a few other things that I really care about myself. You know, care dearly in my heart. But like, um, so. When that situation happened, like a lot of things happened, and I wanted to like release some something in, in my heart, you know, to let thing let people know about my situation. So we made the songs, but Ayende, thank you, was around at those times, and I was like, man, my equipment isn't up, and um, <laughs> and he's like, uh, he like, dude, just like he's like, yo, bro, just like record on the phone. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, <laughs> just just record it on, just record it on the phone. And I was like, yeah, you're you're right, man. And then I he likes I'm like I'm like here, man. He's like asked me to make a beat. I was like, I got two iPhones, so I give him the other one. And I'm like, here, man, just mess with that. I'm over here writing this song like on my phone. And then he over here with the headphones, literally with the headphones, like I'm like this nigga over here, mumble rap. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, with the mic on the yeah on the headphones. Like I'm like, what the fuck? And then he like says he stands up and he just smile like he's like, hey G, listen to this. I'm like, what's up? He's like. I plug in, I'm like, yeah, she know I'm nice though. She won't be my best though. I just want to take her down and do her like my best bro. Yeah. Oh, treat her like my mom. I just won't want to waste my fucking time on the girl. What the fuck? <laughs> like, the song is just like too fucking cool. I was like, all right. So then I was like, eh, 
give me that microphone. Then I just spit my verse on it, and it turned out really well. And I do appreciate you for that. And then from there, I made another song that was that was able that gave me the inspiration to use the eight hundred dollar machine I bought. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. to like make another song. And uh, if you guys go check that out on my uh, Facebook page, uh, like I say, my Facebook page is just Larry Williams. If you're not from Madison, just type in Larry Williams Madison, and I will always be the first one. Yeah, so I I, I saw both of those. They were they were pretty good. Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah, and they, and yeah, they, and they I heard came the off the phone. Ayende. Ayende. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and they literally like they came those off are the phone. phone <laughs> okay. Like like so. No, I wasn't a guess. Like <laughs> now that you say it, though, I can because like. It does have kind of like a, it doesn't like pick up the low end as much. The low but, end, exactly. Yeah, but no, sometimes like I record some stuff and record vocals sometimes too, and like honestly, like sometimes I use like either the computer mic or the phone mic because it's like it just has that sound that's kind of like dense. Yeah, especially if you're using like auto tune or something, then it like really kind of like it it a limit it you altered it you you yeah. literally the wave file has literally been internally altered so you mm-hmm. are able to like manipulate how it sounds but in this case we 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 didn't really manipulate we just used the basics of like you know compression um uh, a little bit of reverb a little bit of like echo you know what i'm saying like yeah. the basic things like cuz i don't like i i love my voice you know what i'm saying like i i treasure it like a lot because that's what you have. No one sounds like you exactly. No one mm-hmm. looks exactly like you. They may have features or traits, but you were all literally number ones. There's nothing like you on this planet. So I, I appreciate my voice, so I don't like tampering with it too much with like yeah. all this shit. It's, like, it's a reason why I do it, and I do it from my heart, so I practice it. So I, when I do do it, I want it to be, you know, real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, but... <clears throat> You're saying you're gonna have a setup though, where you're gonna. Oh yes, then, <laughs> every, then everything will sound like yeah. sound professional. Yes, from this point on, like going forward, yes. But those these few tracks that you just hear on on my what's the name, yeah. thank you Garage Band and thank me for <laughs> bo- being able to purchase this motherfucker, which I bought it twice, because I wasn't because oh. I'm not stupid enough because I you know, credit. <laughs> credit like motherfuckers in this credit shit you know what i'm saying like you can go buy a phone for a penny y'all go buy the phone they like oh you can you can buy it you can buy the machine for 800 like oh yeah, yeah. so like I, I had about the the smaller one and then that broke during halloween and then so i had to that was that was 700 no that was 600 and then i bought then i had to straight up buy this one i was like fuck it, i'm just gonna get the other one so i bought this one it was 800 i was like man i literally spent fucking like Thirteen hundred dollars in a matter of a fucking month on a phone like that shit was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, no, I luckily got this. My stepmom like somebody gave it to her, so I got this iPhone for free. So nice. I got lucky there. But, uh... <laughs> well, hey man, it's everything. This is a business. Hey, trust and believe. Candy Crush is cool. I know you're gonna hate me. I know you're gonna hate me, Candy Crush. You're cool and all, but it's time to crush that shit. It's time for you motherfuckers to start using your phones to conduct business. And translate love and life and fuck the hate. That's what it's time for. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is kind of time to end, so... <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, I give a shout out to all of my family. It's too many people. You already know this. So, I'm going to give a shout out to my family. And I'm going to give a shout out to my extended family, which is you guys and you guys. Then I'm going to give a shout out to my business family, which is, you know, Live Nation, Liquid, you know, Frank Productions, uh, Madison itself, you know, because uh, all of the businesses, you know, I... Show me love, you know. Uh, oh, uh, I'll give a shout out to uh, Amir. You know Amir, poofy. Thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I uh, work with Madison Hopper, right? Madison <laughs> Man Hopper, yeah, Mad the Hopper. Mad Hopper. Give a shout out to him. Uh, he's doing really great. His sister's doing awesome. Hey, Amira and Amir. You know, saying that stands for Prince and Princess. But um, just for you guys who don't know, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I work with his auntie and uh, Ellen. She's really she's a really cool lady. She really cool lady. Thank you, Ellen. Um, but I help her with her apartment. She took her, she owns the uh, Michelangelo's and she took her apartments okay. and turned them into Airbnbs instead of like monthly month rent. So um, I help rehab that just like how I did the office, like put okay. in new floors for her, painted, did some reconstruction and stuff like that. And so she's got like some cool stuff coming up and I'll be working with her soon. So I'm glad I got a little bit of practice in. Uh, I will be working with you soon. I love you, Ellen. I'll see you soon. Um, but yeah, and then like give a shout out to all my other friends uh, from music wise, you know. Deck of Hundreds, Black Salt, uh, and now, and now, my new company, which I will be talking to Denise. Denise, uh, I, I, 
know, I know, I'm sorry. Um, so I got a new company, it's called So Lethal. And, and Lethal is an acronym uh, for living eternally together, heaven allows love. So it's, it's, it's definitely something for people to think about because in this world where people's like, Lethal, and they see that as a record label or, or any type of entertainment label, you would think like, down, 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 bust them in the club, but yeah. we gonna kill them, we gonna blah, blah, blah. No, it, that, it don't stand for that. It's not about lethal. It's something that you love so much that can, it can kill you. And that's what people need to start understanding and stop, you know, like deflating words and increase them because words are value, and I, under, I understand that. And, you know, take some time. You didn't call Gil Halstead, did you? No, I'm not going to go Halstead. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> secretary. Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, see, we're coming up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, like, uh, just making way with my new stuff. And, you know, I like thank you all. And, you know, I give a shout out to Cheyenne also. I know you out there doing your thing. She's doing a, her nail tech stuff. And uh, she just passed um, a few of her tests. And that's really oh, yeah. freaking awesome. So that's that's my uh, a lady in my life. So, Cheyenne. Big ups to you. Keep doing it. Keep your head up. Focus. And keep your eyes open. Don't close them. Fear is for those who can't think. So How, you, how do you it. come up with this shit just off the top? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> that, that, that's bad. Oh, I, just, I don't know. It's just me. It's just how I am. It's, like, it's literally who I am. And I can't take that. And that's what my one friend commented. He's like, you always out there trying to help somebody. There's one thing that's never going to change about you. It's like, yeah, because I help myself. So therefore, if I'm help, if I'm always trying to help myself, if somebody gives me a situation, if I'm in the right state of mind, I'm always going to be able to try to push forward some type of enlightenment on them so that they can move forward and get out of the box that they're in. Because this is a big ass world, man. <laughs> it's a big ass world. Yeah. We're just little country bumpkin, <laughs> Madison. <laughs> For real, little country bumpkin, Madison out here. When I first moved here, these people still had like. The little punch cards to get on the bus, bro. Like, you have to use a little paper thing. You like, I was like, we, we, we had got in Chicago. We was already, like, using the, the transfer. We got yeah. off tokens and shit. And they were, like, still over here with, like, 1950s, like, I was over here cutting. Hey, bus system, don't don't kill me. But I was over here, like, cutting the, like, taking exacto <laughs> knives and, like, cutting the same shape and shit. Like, yeah, I was on this <laughs> Studying See, that's how you get, that's the reason, that's the reason why Life Nation was able to take over. Because you're not smart enough to keep up. <laughs> get it up there, guys, come on. Stop being so, about, this gotta be a forward, this is a moving forward city. Don't be stagnant. And being a curmudgeon is something that no one should be. Live your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, well, yeah, this has been Impartial Theorists with Ace. Yep. And uh, yeah, man, be happy to have you back on again. Yes, because we are up keep to us updated. Updated, yes. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Man.